and still in southwestern Nigeria, Ogun State Governor Dakwa Biodu has challenged youth of Yewa land to continue to take the lead in exemplary conduct, business engagement, politics and relationship with one another. He made this known at the opening ceremony of the Yewa Youth Leadership Conference held at Laru Ogun State, represented by Olaolu Olabinton a commissioner designate and special advisor for budget and planning with the summit themed empowering youth leadership civic engagement and active citizenship he stressed the need for the youth to balance the acquisition of tertiary education with lucrative skills and the bid to become entrepreneurs is not about giving people money when you give a man fifty thousand, he will finish spending it and that's why I said we give kudos to the organizers of this. First, when you teach a man leadership skills, you understand me, he's in a better state to even expend that 50,000 you want to give or any amount properly. Then you can also lead people who are coming behind. Engagement with them. Like I said, the problem why they are not going to school is that they cannot understand why they should go to school. So it's about engagement. You have to sit them down, you have to explain to him. When you see two people doing the same trade, the one that is educated always makes more money. It's not money that is everything, but ability to monitor and be tutored by those who have made it in life. That's what we call mentoring in business. You need that intellectual capacity for you to be able to harness the skill that you have, the inner skill of making it. Once you are not really having that education, that will be, because everything you do be based on the platform and the foundation you have formed. Greatest of all empowerment is skill acquisition, is, is um, accumulation of necessary skills for you to be the best, for you to be a better citizen or a better indigene wherever you find yourself. Other speakers admonish that skills acquisition should also be pursued as a reliable source of legitimate income and lasting financial backup. They added that such moves are obtainable in developed nations. What we would like to see is the youth developing their capacity beyond education. There is the skills that is needed to be built on leadership skills, on interpersonal relationship, on advocacy and policy influencing. So we would like to see youth building their skills beyond their formal education so that they can also participate in local governance, so that they can ask the right questions for our representatives and make sure that they are also part of the decision making in the society. Advice to young people is to take their time. Get rich, quick syndrome, of course, like the Riley posited, is, is almost the order of the day now. All these antisocial uh, norms that uh, pervade our society today, we are seeing the repercussion almost immediately. 